Are you looking to set up a Daedalus software wallet? Well, we're here to show you how. Welcome back to Woodland Pools, your place for the latest Cardano news, tutorials, and the information you need to grow your investment with confidence. Today, let's take a look at setting up a Daedalus software wallet. Whether you're waiting on your hardware wallet to come in or you have no intention of getting a hardware wallet, a Daedalus software wallet can be a great option to manage your coins. Let's take a look together. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to want to do is come to cardano.org. From there, we can go to individuals, and we can click on Daedalus wallet, and that'll take us to the Daedalus website. From here, we're gonna to go to download. You're gonna select your operating system. I'm on a Mac, so I'm gonna come here to download Daedalus on Mac, but I will say, as an optional additional security measure, if you wanna be extra sure that the installer that you're downloading is from Daedalus, Check out our previous video on PGP signature verification, which we'll link down below. If you want to see how to do that, it'll walk you through the whole process. But for the sake of this exercise, we'll just do the straight download and we'll skip the verification. So I'm going to click on download data list. I'm going to download the installer. When it's done downloading, go ahead and open the installer and go through the full installation process. Once the install is complete, go ahead and open up data list. Okay, we see it here connecting to the network. We're gonna need all four of these to turn green. So the Cardano node is running, but it's not responding yet. We need the time to sync correctly, and we need it to sync to the network. So when all four of these are green, we'll be good to go. Okay, so we see here that data list is syncing. It's gonna start from 0% and have to sync all the way to 100% to get synced up with the network. Ours has been running for a while now, so we see that we're past 99%, but yours will start at 0% and have to sync all the way to 100%. This may take up to a few hours, so let it just run in the background. So go ahead and pause the video here, let your nodes sync up to 100%, and once you're at 100%, then we can continue forward. So put us on pause, and we'll see you when you're fully synced. Okay, so this check mark tells us that we're synced up to 100% and we're ready to go. So let's get started setting up our Daedalus software wallet. We're gonna come to Create. You're gonna wanna give it a name. This can be any name that you want. I'm just calling it Software Wallet, but you can call it literally anything you want. Next, we're gonna to need to create a secure spending password. We're gonna to need to enter this password anytime that we do anything that is, they call it spending, but anything that requires verification, whether you are sending ADA to another address or you're delegating to a stake pool, this will be the password that you'll be entering. So you wanna enter a secure password, one that obviously you can remember and no one else can guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that. And then I'm gonna click on Create Shelly Wallet. Okay, so now this is really important. Here, it's going to give us our recovery phrase. This is gonna be a list of 24 words that we need to write down, and these 24 words will be used to create our private key, which is the way that we verify and say, yes, this is us, for the transactions that happen on the blockchain. Now, this is critically important that we understand this. Using the recovery phrase is the only way to recover the wallet if the computer is lost, broken, stolen, stops working. These private keys are created directly from this 24 word passphrase. And right now is the only time that passphrase is going to be provided to us. If we lose these 24 words, we have no ability to restore this wallet again in the future if we need to. The next thing is we need to confirm that nobody can see our screen because anybody who knows the recovery phrase will be able to spend the ADA that's in our new wallet. Since the private keys are being created directly from these 24 words, the good thing about it is that if something happens to our computer or our Daedalus application becomes corrupted and we need to reinstall it, we can just use these 24 words, we can restore a new Daedalus wallet from them, and we're good to go, and all of the addresses and private keys and everything are identically created again for us, so it's really easy. But on the flip side, if anybody else has access to these 24 words, they can also just as easily restore a Daedalus software wallet and pretend to be you and spend all of your ADA. So it is critically important that you write down these 24 words, that you keep them in a safe place, and you make sure that no one else has access to them, or they can literally steal all of your ADA that's in your wallet. So with that confirmed, we'll say confirm and continue. So here it's gonna give us the 24 words that will be used to create our private keys for our Daedalus wallet. Before any of you decide to get clever, yes, I said don't let anyone see it, and I am here broadcasting it on YouTube, this test wallet we're gonna set up and then we're gonna delete right after, but you wanna make sure nobody can see your words. So what you're gonna to want to do is take a moment, get your three pieces of paper, and write down these 24 words in the exact order that they're presented three times. All 24 words in order on each of your three pieces of paper. So go ahead and pause us here, write down your 24 words three times, and then unpause us when you're ready and we're ready to continue. 
Okay, so now that we've written down our 24 words, we're going to say, yes, I've written down my wallet recovery phrase. And the next thing it's gonna want us to do is to repeat back those 24 words in the exact order. The purpose of this is because the 24 words are the only way to restore our wallet in case anything goes wrong. We wanna make sure that we've gotten the words right and then we wrote them down in the right order. So you're gonna to wanna to repeat all 24 of them back and then we're gonna hit confirm. So we're gonna go ahead and enter our 24 words. You'll see you get some drop downs and you can start typing. So if I start typing the first word like morning, we can see here that it auto completes for us and we can click on it. So do this for all 24 of your words and then we'll meet back here. Okay, so we're gonna enter our 24th word Apply. And when I do that, it's going to say, okay, that looks good. And so now it's going to ask me to confirm a few things. I understand that the simplest way to keep my wallet recovery phrase secure is to never store it digitally or online. This is why we were saying, write it down on three pieces of paper. Don't have it digitally anywhere. And keep those pieces of paper in different places in case something happens to the physical copy. If I decide to use an online service, such as a password manager with an encrypted database, it is my responsibility to make sure I use it correctly. Again, Paper copies is the way to go. I understand that the only way to recover my wallet, if my computer is lost, broken, stolen, or stops working, is to use my wallet recovery phrase. So I understand that. I'm gonna hit confirm. And now that the wallet has been created, here's my Dataless software wallet. It needs to sync up the wallet transactions with the blockchain. It's similar to how Dataless needed to sync up to 100%. The wallet itself needs to sync up. It's gonna go a lot faster than the Dataless wallet did, but you're gonna to want to let this sync to 100%. So go ahead and once again, pause us here, let your wallet sync, and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so now that our wallet is all synced up, we see here we have our Dataless software wallet. We have zero ADA in it. Let's take a quick look around. So one thing we can do is if we want, we can add another wallet. You can either create another software wallet, you can pair a hardware wallet later, or as we mentioned in the future, if something goes wrong and you reinstall Dataless and you want to restore this same wallet, you can use the restore functionality. If you're curious about how the restoring process works, check out our previous video on restoring a Dataless software wallet. So let's continue looking around. We can see here that if we go back to our wallet, we can um, send some ADA, we can receive ADA. Here are our addresses that we can receive our ADA from the exchange to this wallet. If you want a little more information on how to send your ADA off of the exchange onto your wallet, check out our other video on how to withdraw your ADA from the exchange. Then we can also come here to the delegation center, we can find stake pools we want to delegate to. We have a bunch of them that auto-populate here. We can also search for a stake pool. So if I search for our stake pool, Aspen, we see we can select it here. And I'll say here, if you like the work that we do here and you want to support the channel, consider delegating to our Aspen stake pool, which we'll link down below. Continuing on, this section here is just for the uh, incentivized testnet rewards. Uh, I figure most of you here probably weren't part of the ITN, so we don't need to worry about this. This next section is for voting on Catalyst. So fund three voting has ended, but as additional rounds of Catalyst funds open up for voting, you would come to this section to vote on your preferred proposals. And then down here, we have some general wallet settings. So with that, you're all set. We tried to keep this video concise for you and focus really on just the setup of the software wallet. But if you'd like a little bit of a deeper dive into Dataless, check out our previous video, setting up a Dataless wallet from scratch. Or if you're already feeling comfortable with Dataless and you're ready to delegate, Check out our other video on selecting the right stake pool for you. We'll see you in the next video.